Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Over the next 20 minutes, I'd like to introduce you to how Autodesk are addressing our customers' key business challenges through simulation early in the design process and how we're breaking down the barriers to a broader adoption of simulation. My name is David Hick and I head up the European technical team for simulation at Autodesk. Over the past 10 years, I've been helping manufacturing companies throughout Europe gain a competitive advantage through the implementation of simulation tools within their design process. So to start, let's take a look at why companies perform simulation. So firstly, they perform simulation to validate their designs, to ensure they perform as expected in the, in the real world environment. Secondly, to optimize their designs, to see the effect of geometric changes or changes in materials, or the effect of trade-offs, for example, strength and weight. And thirdly, to reduce the reliance on physical testing and therefore reduce the number of prototypes or to see how a product will perform in an environment in which they cannot test, for example, under extreme heat or very high pressures, or where physical testing is impossible or impractical. Now these reasons, however, come down to business pressures. Increasingly, manufacturers are seeing a need for improved performance, quality and reliability in their products in order to compete. At the same time, pressures for shorter project cycles and reduced budgets are dictating faster turnaround times and lower development costs, meaning that opportunities for design exploration and optimization using traditional prototyping methods starts to become limited. Now typically the key pressures are shortened development schedules and reduced costs. In this table we can see how simulation can address these challenges. The number 6.9 represents the average number of prototypes created and tested during a typical product development cycle. On average, companies that implemented simulation on low complexity products saw a 33 day time which equates to a 14,000 euro cost saving. Now, when we look at more high complexity products, companies on average see a 253 day which equates to a 2.3 million euro cost saving. These savings are somewhat conservative as they represent simulation in general. The feedback from our customers is that they're seeing even greater savings with our products with up to a 65% reduction in cost as opposed to just 37%. So let's see how the product development process would evolve if we make the change to simulation. So if we take a look at a typical product development process going from conceptualization all the way through to manufacturing and implementation, what we know is the ability to implement a design change which will improve product performance actually declines over time. Now the reason for this is because the cost of each design change goes up as more and more constraints are placed on the product and a high level of detail is incorporated into the drawings. The traditional design process concentrates the bulk of the development effort at the testing stage. Here, physical prototypes are often used for testing and validating the product prior to advancing to the manufacturing stage. What we're now seeing is more and more design teams exploring design changes earlier in the development process through the use of simulation, where they can look at a wider variety of design options faster and at a lower cost than they can with physical prototyping. So it talks about the benefits of making the change to simulation, so what are the risks if we don't? Many companies find it hard to change their product development process. It appears that the risk of doing so can seem too high. However, the fact is the risks are far greater if they don't make the change. So what happens if a company doesn't truly understand how its products will perform as they go to market? Well, in a worst case situation, a product is released and a, a recall is needed to correct the situation. These recalls are not only costly, but they can affect the company's reputation. So who uses simulation tools? Well, the answer to that is simple. Any company that designs has a development cycle that can be impacted by simulation. So whether they're designing vehicle lighting systems, industrial machinery products, buildings with greater sustainability, or the next innovation in clean energy products, in all of these application areas, these companies have a need to remain competitive in their markets. And so they need to have a thorough understanding of how their designs will perform well before they exist in the real world. So to address this need, Autodesk have spent over $500 million in building a world-class portfolio of proven simulation technology. With our current simulation portfolio, we are helping our customers solve real-world design challenges related to the structural integrity of their building designs, the manufacture of plastic injection molded parts, the mechanical performance of the products, and the airflow and heat management inside their products. These products represent the most comprehensive range of simulation and analysis tools available on the market today. 
So let's take a look at some of the key challenges that each of these products are helping to address. So firstly, simulation mold flow enables designers and engineers to assess the manufacturability of the plastic injection molded part designs. They can optimize plastic part and mold designs to ensure that the molds will work right first time, helping to avoid costly, costly production delays and mold rework. They can assess whether the parts will fill correctly, whether there will be any defects which could affect the, the part both aesthetically and structurally, for example ensuring that the correct injection location is found in the example we see here of a flow meter housing. Using mold flow eliminates the risk of warpage that could prevent the part from fitting incorrectly and leaking. On the actual processing side, the cycle time, temperature and pressure can be optimised for cost and quality. The capabilities available through Autodesk Simulation Mechanical provide the broadest platform of structural simulation available to address these challenges, expanding significantly on the capabilities provided within Product Design Suite's Ultimate through Inventor Simulation. So whether an engineer is looking to determine the stresses and deflections in the parts of a pump, the fatigue life due to cyclic loadings of a pressure vessel, the effects of a drop test on a respiratory device, how vibration frequencies affect the structural integrity of a washing machine, identifying structural redundancy and alternative materials for weight and cost savings, Simulation Mechanical has the capabilities to address all of these common applications and many more. Now the biggest growth area in simulation at the moment is in the field of CFD. Autodesk Simulation CFD provides designers and engineers with a broad range of analysis capabilities to address all of these common fluid flow and thermal related design challenges plus many more, such as determining ways to increase the flow throughput inside a device, identifying the cause of pressure losses in products, ensuring that the flow is balanced through a system, identifying whether components will get too hot or what happens when thermal loads or pressures are cycled over time, determining whether a fluid is fully purged or stagnates inside a product, the effect of contaminant particles being drawn into a device, predicting the hydraulic efficiency of a new pump or fan design, the effects of erosion and cavitation, and seeing how, how long it takes to fill a container with fluid and how that fluid moves in response to external forces. Again, all of these challenges and more can be addressed with Autodesk Simulation CFD. There's also interoperability between the simulation products. For example, if a designer wanted to assess the thermal or pressure outputs from simulation CFD on the structural integrity of their parts, then they can do with simulation mechanical. So also their simulation CFD can be used in many different ways as a dig digital flow bench, a digital wind tunnel, a thermal test rig, or even as a virtual building. And products within the manufacturing industry that can benefit from Autodesk Simulation CFD are equally as varied. From assessing the balance of airflow through a ventilation duct or an exhaust manifold, the throw and comfort temperature from a heater or air conditioning unit, the pressure losses through a valve, the uniformity of air temperature in a convection oven, or the temperature balance at the outlet of a mixer tap. Further, manufacturers of products such as fans, pumps, flow meters, compressors, hydraulic or pneumatic pneumatic actuators can simulate the interaction of the moving parts of the products with the surrounding fluid. Through the use of simulation CFD they're not only able to visualize how the flow is affected to determine areas of inefficiency but they can also obtain mechanical data relating to reaction forces and torque loadings. And this year we've seen the introduction of new technology enabling designers to simulate the free surface movement of liquids in air for applications including filling processes, drainage and tank sloshing. More and more often we're seeing manufacturers of these products using simulation CFD not only to understand and improve the performance of these products in a test environment, but also to simulate their products performing in virtual real-world environments as well. So, why have more companies not made the investment in simulation? Well, traditionally there have been barriers to the broader adoption of simulation, or perceived barriers, and it really comes down to three key points. So, first of all, ease of use. Simulation has traditionally been perceived as difficult, requiring specialist qualifications, training and knowledge, and not integral within the product development process due to a, an inability to integrate with existing design workflows. Secondly, the massive amount of computing power and time that historical approaches to simulation has required. And thirdly, the overall cost, the total cost of ownership, so the cost of hardware, software licensing, and ongoing maintenance costs. These barriers have prevented many companies from undertaking simulation at all, and in some cases companies have relied upon third parties for subcontracting the most critical aspects of their product development for simulation, or at best have limited simulation to a minority of people within the company who are able to adopt these tools.
So let's take a look at what makes Autodesk Simulation different and how we're looking to break down these barriers. Well, firstly, we recognize that different people have different requirements and can benefit from simulation in different ways and at different points in the development process. So it's clear that the needs of a designer, engineer or analyst are very different. Now, the historical answer to this challenge has been to take uh, analyst level solutions and dumb it down for use by different people, different individuals. And this has never worked. It simply solidified the perception that simulation is hard to use. So we're actually taking a clean slate approach to this problem by providing simulation tools that are suited to each of these different individuals. So <coughs> in the case of our simulation CFD, this has been developed for use by designers, engineers and other non-specialists. Simulation CFD is CAD driven, whether that CAD be Autodesk CAD, uh, products such as Inventor or another third party uh, solid modeler with a high level of automation to enable the user to focus on getting rapidly to results. It's accurate, easy to use and designed for the infrequent user with only one day of training and features a broad range of analysis capabilities. But typically the biggest barriers are hardware and cost. Today's simulation tools are expensive and largely out of reach of the majority of designers and engineers. And often the varied requirements for simulation on a day-to-day -day or project-by-project -project basis can make it hard to justify the investments. Simulation 360 Pro is revolutionizing the way in which our customers can access and perform simulations. With this, what we're doing is we're taking all the benefits of simulation-driven design from the desktop and then providing easy access to the infinite computing power of the cloud. Now, by moving the computationally intensive tasks to the cloud, such as meshing and solving, our customers can eliminate the need to purchase dedicated, expensive hardware to run simulations. The user simply installs a lightweight client on any machine they choose to use and access is then provided through a user account. This approach provides the flexibility of access to a broad simulation portfolio of capabilities but on a cost-effective pay-as-you-compute model. Now one of the major benefits of using the Autodesk Cloud for simulation is that a design engineer can test multiple different design variants under all possible test conditions in parallel rather than just sequentially. Now this opens up a whole new approach to product development whereby engineers can now run unlimited analyses at the same time to get the best answer rather than just a single answer. So in other words, they can now fully optimize their designs, perform design of experiments or try and innovate new approaches to solving their design challenges. The net result is a further reduction in development cycle time and cost, further improved product performance and reliability, and greater confidence in their final design than can be achieved through desktop simulation alone. Multiple projects can be run simultaneously to ensure that all projects are kept on schedule without the need to prioritize. That's an additional benefit. So let's take a look at the steps in using the cloud. So firstly, the user simply downloads a thin client installation um, and access is provided through a user account. The user then opens up the CAD model into the simulation product they're choosing to use, defines the parameters for the simulation, and the models are then automatically uploaded to the cloud for meshing and solving. Results are automatically streamed back to the client machine, or the user can choose to disconnect and reconnect at a later date to download and view the results. A simple utility enables the user to track the progress of the simulation while it's running with the option of storing results on the cloud to enable collaboration with other teams via tablet or other mobile device. So there are sometimes questions around cloud security. So firstly, let's take a look at informational security. So as a user logs into the Autodesk 360 account, the login name and password verifies their access. Secondly, we use secure standardized IP protocols for the encryption of data during upload and download. Now these are the same protocols as used for internet banking and e-commerce companies such as PayPal. In addition, no customer data is actually stored on the cloud unless they choose to do so um, using Autodesk 360 or a third party service. And finally, uh, another point is that the data being sent to the cloud is often low in IP. Of course, the best benefits of using simulation are as early in the design process as possible. So many models might well be conceptual models. And of course, it's never actually the real CAD that's being uploaded, more just uh, simulation data, just a representation. Secondly, we have physical security. So this is data protection at the server site and protection against theft, fire and flood. And finally, operational security. All of these are expensive investments and are rarely replicated with in-house IT infrastructures at many of our customers' sites. 
So let's now take a look at a few examples. Our first example is from the oil and gas industry. So this company are a world leader in producing fixed and rotating head cutters for downhole drilling. Now failure of the cutting head due to erosion causes significant downtime and cost to the end customer. Now initially they were using a traditional CFD tool for flow and erosion prediction. However, the designers were spending weeks creating simulation models and meshes due to the poor connectivity between the CAD tool and the traditional CFD tool and of course because of the complexity of the geometry involved. Now they were under pressure for a rapid turnaround of results and wanted a tool that could be accessible by all of the designers in the development team. So they evaluated simulation CFD against the physical model and actually found a more accurate correlation than with traditional CFD. But not only that, they managed to reduce the turnaround of a simulation from two weeks to less than half a day. Greater understanding of product performance from the visualization tools within simulation CFD clearly guided the designers on a rapid development route in order to achieve a product with better balanced flows through the nozzles, reduced recirculation, lower shear stresses, and ultimately less erosion and downtime. The next example is from a large international supply of high pressure, high flow centrifugal water pumps. The design team had no previous experience of CFD, but needed to virtually test their products, reduce development time, reduce tooling costs, whilst also being able to demonstrate to the customers their technical expertise above and beyond the competition. Now the pumps in question were around about a metre in diameter and the cost of tooling and testing prototypes was very high. Each pump had to be tested at different levels of pressure in order to derive the pump and efficiency performance curves. This can be a time consuming process and severely inhibited their ability to investigate different concepts. And of course physical testing only yields hard point data. It doesn't provide any clues as to how the design should be modified to improve performance. Simulation CFD provides visualization which cannot be obtained through physical means. The user can examine the flow around the cut water, how the velocity and momentum in the spinning fluid is transferred to static pressure for pumping, flow losses, hydraulic torque and efficiency can all be measured, and also the low pressure effect of cavitation, where the water starts to vaporize. The performance of a pump design can be optimized by adjustments to the geometry of the impeller or the volume shape. Finally, we have an example of an industrial dispensing valve. This shut-off poppet valve opens to dispense fire extinguishing foam, which is a mixture of CO2, air and water. The new poppet shape that we see on the right-hand side here reduces stagnation pressure and minimizes losses through the valve, resulting in greater volumetric flow throughput. The benefit here is that greater flow rates equals faster extinguishing times, with further improvements to the design possible. So let's now take a look at our Sim360 Pro offering. So Simulation360 Pro includes the cloud versions of Simulation Mechanical, Simulation CFD and Robot Structural Analysis on a one-year term base from just €3,960 per user per year. This includes advanced support for all products direct from Autodesk for the duration of the term. These products can of course be purchased separately for the desktop as well. In addition, we also have Sim360 Moldflow. This includes the cloud products we saw in Sim360 Pro with the addition of the cloud-based version of Moldflow Insights Ultimate from just €11,000 for one year term. Finally, we recognize how important the investment in simulation is and we're able to ensure that your design team have the expertise to start addressing their design challenges straight away. A one-day web-based fundamentals training is sufficient to take a designer with no previous simulation experience to a point where they'll be able to perform simulations on their own designs and make successful design decisions with confidence. So I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to take the next steps and discuss with us directly your challenges. Please feel free to contact me via the email address shown here if you'd like to learn more. And at this stage, I'd like to thank you all for your time.